first of all, I'm going to start from the from the younger ones up, and I want you to stand, and then uh, maybe a lot of them may not know everybody from the, the times that has passed. Uh, Lynn June, would you uh, stand up there, please? Yeah, please stand. She was uh, 2016, 27. She was a little bit past uh, for me. And, uh, okay, Lynn, uh, I'm sure everybody knows you. Just real quickly, kind of the Eagle Bear and a few other things. I'm sure everybody knows. <laughs> everybody doesn't know Lynn? Everybody knows Lynn, huh? Everybody knows Lynn. Good. John Pichu, 12, 15, 2016. John? John, comment, John. Huh? Speech. Speak. Speech. I was also president in what year? Well, you moved, yeah, there was another year above that. Back in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't born in 1985. Yeah. And I did it the second time, I, about the time I was getting ready to tell you. Uh, be sworn in, I discovered that before I had agreed to be president, Pat and Dwight had, and the rest of the club had agreed that we were going to have the Experience Louisiana Festival. And it was going to happen while I was president. Which, and I didn't even know it was happening. And so that, yeah, I had to learn that real fast. Uh, 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 and it turned out to be a great success, but uh, I was worried uh, for a while. I was very worried. <laughs> anyway, that sounded the highlight of my last presidency. 2014 15, Drake Aguilar. Aguilar is Vic here. Vic here? Yeah. Who are you? I thought you were on the course. Anyway, say so. I thought so. I thought somebody said Drake wasn't here. Okay, you're here. Good. I'm here? Yeah, you're here. Alright. So that's good? Yeah. You want to say it up and say what you had and everything? A lot of them no. they're not good to keep telling the same. 1241 East Laurel and Eunice. Yeah. Stay calm. Okay, uh, the other friend, uh, 2013, 2014, was telling Deuce that went through a pretty oh, rough okay. year, too. Uh, I don't know if you'll discuss it, but you went through a rough year. That's when you kind of had some year, but, uh, We had some internal uh, problems, and you were in charge, and uh, I think you handled it uh, very well. Uh, well so, I, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I, I got lucky that year because the lady that was supposed to be president was transferred <coughs> couldn't do it and I had to step up so I never got to go through it I never got put through the training and all that <laughs> Okay, Donnie, I think I got you on here. 2012, 2013, does that sound about right? Yeah, that's about right because I do remember handing off the audition. Oh. So, that was, uh, that oh, was okay, good. yeah. Today, my job is to keep these two guys separated and to translate the lawyer jokes to brothers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ben, 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 Ben Reed, uh, 2011, 2012. Uh, we're, we're hosting the regional baseball tournament at LSU right now. Uh, six baseball teams have started at noon today. Uh, Bengals play tonight at 6 o'clock, and it goes through Friday, so come out and watch the baseball. Uh, next is 2010-2011, uh, Jason Smith. Jason. Hey, Jason. I remember uh, Miss Lou and I moved to town. Miss Lou had started talking to her. Oh, God. I held her off for about a year, and then uh, that was about it. And I remember whenever I had joined, right before me, Christy Fogler was the president. And I remember somebody was like, you should run too. So we had a runoff for president. I don't think we've seen one of those since. No. <laughs> no. 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 Been here 13 no. years now, so uh, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the next one uh, um, was, um, all right, Dave Ware, Dr. Dave called this morning. He couldn't make it. With a bag on, call he couldn't make it. Paul Brown? Paul Brown. Okay, Paul Brown. 12, 6, and 12, 7. Can you tell us a little story? If there's any that you can brag about or just tell us? No stories. I'm still down the street. Down the street. Okay. okay. <laughs> Not going anywhere. I'm, I have, things have changed. I'm a city court prosecutor now. I'm happy yeah, for a few go. years, which is why I haven't been able to be a I member of the Rotary Club anymore because we used to have our juveniles on Wednesdays, but I think that's changed. But it's good to be coming back and see all well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. my okay. friends. So. Yeah, well, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. Thank you. That's what I was hoping that we get uh, some of the old guys back. Okay, uh, the kid didn't make it either. Kid Bertrand was 206 or 7. Uh, brother Atchison, uh, 2405. Uh, bro brother was in good standards. I mean, uh, but brother was in good standards as president, and then when he left, he got he got in bad standards. He's, uh, we were uh, we were letting too many women in here. Oh. 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 Oh.
picking at you. It's just a coincidence. That's all. It's just a coincidence. Well, you know, I was responsible. I believe you can give me credit for starting the five thousand dollars a year Super Bowl fund that we raised. There you go. Yeah, every year. You did well. We helped the Union Community uh, Community uh, Medical Center out. And also, I was involved in the year of the eradication of polio, which I thought was a big thing. Brother, yeah, exactly. well, I, shut up, this All your women love you. You know that. All your women love you. Brother was very instrumental. Brother was very instrumental in getting new members. Wait, go ahead. Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, that's what I want to bring up. Membership. Uh, uh, President-elect training in Morgan City. Every president-elect come up to me and ask me, "How did you recruit 35 members in a year?" Yeah. Three drinks out of three beers. I asked them to join. <laughs> <laughs> and they couldn't get over that. Like, <laughs> and, and he offered them a case of beer. 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 And he offered them a case of beer if they joined, I believe, didn't he? But Kim Putnam was the president. At the time, and I recruited 35 members that year. Ellis remembers that. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Okay, and then, uh, Dr. Greg the third, uh, I sent him an invitation, but we hadn't heard from him, so um, he lives in uh, Tennessee or somewhere. Yeah, he's on his way. Okay, he's on his way. Yeah, he's late. Well, I'll, I'll hang around. Okay, Judge Ellis, 2000, what, two and, and three. That's been so long ago, I don't remember what occurred during my term. <laughs> but anyway, it was a good term. Uh, yeah. We've all enjoyed being members and working with Rotary and all the new uh, events that took place. Um, like Brother, we had a, a case, a uh, uh, class action case. We were able to donate about 40000 of that class action, the residue of it, to the community uh, health clinic here in and still kind of working with, with them and doing whatever we can. Audience was a member of that, and does a good job there. Uh, I retired as a judge uh, two years at 14, uh, beginning of 14. And uh, presently, I've been appointed to the board at Washington State Bank, so I'm working with the bank now. And uh, I'm still doing some ad hoc work, which means I still fill in for other judges uh, when I substitute. <coughs> If they need to substitute judge. Okay, next is uh, Dr. Nunez, William Nunez, in 2001 and two, and uh, he wasn't able to make it either. He had other things going on. He's in Baton Rouge. We called him. We called, I think, Van actually talked to him in person, and uh, he wished he could have been here, but I don't think we missed him. Next is 2000, 2001. That's Tim Fung. I guess that's Tim Fung, the senior, huh? Uh, yeah. Yes? No, that's the attorney. Oh, Tim, the attorney. The attorney. The next one, in 1999 and 2000, Miss Luella Mars. You had uh, weren't you the hey, uh, weren't you the founder of the, uh, the water fountain? Yeah. Uh, well, that was something you know he, he okay. accomplished in his Come on, year. Guys. But it was the year of uh, the 100th anniversary of Rotary. You were president here, and we all wanted to do something. Uh, and uh, we came up with the idea of the fountain. It was under your direction. And because of you, you forced me to be chairman. <laughs> you forced me, people. Uh, yeah. And uh, we accomplished that. I just wish the city would keep it clean. I know, but they they didn't like you. You stayed on their bus the whole time, too, boy. Yeah. That thing wasn't working. Lou was on the main just keep it like crazy. But anyway, that was a good accomplishment. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lou. We appreciate that. Okay, uh, Leland, Leland Laverne in 1998, 1999. You look good for a moment. <laughs> Lou said everything I wanted to say because she, she, she learned everything that I thought. <laughs> and I've seen the club still in existence because of me. <laughs> Good. I, got to, I got to listen to a lot of stuff when it, after we took over because she, she wouldn't quit talking. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Ken Reshore, 1998. He's not here. Uh, John Stack. John B. Stack's not here either. 1997. Next, Shirley B.J. Shirley B.J. That's what keeps us in the right there. Money, man. Don't do much, but all I know is that I'm going to 
I do know is that it's a lot easier being president than it is being treasurer. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Because the presidency ends. <laughs> treasurer seems to never end. Excuse me, uh, Don. Mr. Don Mayu. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yes. This is a highlight of a whole week coming through. Yeah. <laughs> Lunch on Wednesday, everything else is dull. But yeah, I'm just so proud to be a member of the Rotary Club and, and proud to be associated with all of y'all. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. So Next is uh, Mark Steele. I thought Mark would be here, but he didn't show up. We're doing the 1993. Next is Leon Trishaw. Third. And he's gone. And then we have Danny Frederick. I thought he'd be here. He didn't show up. 1991. Michael Vaughn. And then John Pichu was again. He was the president of 1986. Carl Derwin, 1984-85, he deceased Cleve. Charles Fudge, Cle uh, Jack Burson, I thought I'd been here. He was in 2012. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong one. Listen to me. Uh, 1978, 1980. Uh, Jacques, Jacques Pichu, 1978-1979. He's not here. He's uh, grandfather gay or something. He's in back of the thing with his kids. Mr. Doug Longman, we thought he'd be here in 78. Phil, Phil Baker, that was another banker, right? Yeah. 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 Wait, many bankers and attorneys on this list. Yeah. 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 Uh, the next, uh, Dr. B. <laughs> Dr. You were in 1975. One thing I want to tell you, uh, Willie Slanger was in there. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, uh, Slanger. I was allowed to appoint one person, and I appointed him and, uh, to keep order. So to the board. <laughs> you sit at the front table with a t shirt on. <laughs> everybody, shut up! You know, no. after the meeting, the mayor says, uh, "Why did you appoint him?" I said, hey, you, you, "You keep order." What's your age, Ben? Eighty-five. Hot dog. Appreciate you coming here. Really, really good. Yeah, yeah. The next one, okay, Mr. Cruzier. Don't say anything I'll get by a lawyer. Just kind of thought that was in 1974 75. I think uh, in my opinion, but we probably be most remembered for us having the single largest attendance at any one meeting. If y'all know that big white building on the uh, on, on Maple, on the Western Maple, was originally Swiss Nitty. And they went belly up, and then we got uh, Wilson Moosterberg, got Jansen to come in. Emil Stepper was uh, a member, and for his meeting, he flew down two professional models from Seattle with their professional lighting crew, and they got about 10 or 12 beautiful little local girls, and they put on a fashion show, a swimsuit. <laughs> fashion show. Yeah, I bet that was a The meeting room at the only attic was packed, and they were four deep in the back. <laughs> Older gentlemen in the room at the time who weren't that concerned about young, beautiful women raised so much hell that it was one and done. It could never happen again. Revive that. Okay, Mr. Charles Dunbass. Your name is Charles. Everybody has known me for many, many years. Chucky is the name. <laughs> my, uh, my father was uh, president way back. I think in the 20s or something of that nature. Uh, I'm only 91 years old. I was president when we had a, a national convention in Houston, which club paid for me to go. What an experience. I learned a lot about Rotary back in those days. And I think the final thing is I'm very proud of the fact that I'm a World War II veteran. There's only four of us left, I believe, in the news. Wow. <laughs> and uh, so I guess that's my story. I Thank you. Okay, guys, uh, the rest of them, you, I gave the sheet out to see. Uh, you all look like you're the last one, but not the least. But you're in you're, you're stand up again? The bunch, huh? Yeah, there was a bunch. <laughs> I'm going to you know, look at all the names, I'm sure you'll have, and it's pretty inspiring, and it's, it's good to know when we knew all these people that really cared about Eunice, really, really did the community, and, and, and I know what it was to be president, and uh, 
you have to be willing to, to do a lot yeah. and for the community and um, and it's well worth it. Like uh, Lou was telling Michelle too, you know, when I got in, I was scared of that too, and I thought I was retiring. That's the only way I got in. And then my jewel quit me, so I was full time again then doing it. So it was scary, but it's so it's so rewarding. I mean, it really is. It, it really is. So I encourage those that have not been present to jump in it because you learn and you got plenty of people like got so many people uh, Lynn and Van and so many people that willing to help. We got this call and they call and it's wonderful. But another thing I want to say real quick before I let other people talk. Um, you know, I, you know, I was in the JCs, the Satoma Club, the Lions Club. Who else, Don? And, and this is the only club that is still well in the Kiwanis probably. Who's older, the Kiwanis or Rotary? Rotary. Rotary, Rotary. Rotary. Yeah, that's, uh, since 1924. And let me tell you, there's clubs that has gone under, and the Rotary Club has stayed strong since 1924. So I, I, that's because of the leadership and the people that get involved for the, for the city. And they're and, and, and they're they're generous also with their money because everybody knows in here this is not a this is kind of I won't say an expensive club but it, it costs you more than your membership when you join this thing but it's but it goes to good causes and everybody's happy. We believe the right group of people working together can make our communities, our world, a better place. Rotary, humanity in motion. <laughs>